Hello, it's Dr. Triple Seven, and in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to speed up your computer. So any programs I use that aren't pre-installed on the computer will be available um, in the description below for free download. Everything I do in this video is free, so anybody can follow this and hopefully um, speed up your computer a little bit. Very first step is disabling startup programs. Now, startup programs are the programs that are turned on automatically as soon as you turn your computer on or log into your account. Now, Windows 8 is extremely simple to disable these. All you have to do is right click the taskbar, go to task manager, and click startup. From here, which all you have to do is click a program that you no longer need to be enabled at the beginning. So, for example, um, this one right here, and simply click disable. The nice thing is it will keep it there so you can later enable it again if you find out you actually need it. Also on the right hand side you'll see startup impacts. So these are the programs it will tell you which programs have the most uh, significant impact on your computer turning on. Now Windows 7 you obviously can't go to Task Manager to do this so you'll have to go to the startup folder it's not as nice as this, so you'll have to manually delete them yourselves, but simply search up the startup folder in your Windows 7 start menu and head there. The next tip is cleaning up unnecessary files. Now this is can be done using a program called CCleaner. So I'll simply open it up for you guys. This is a free program that is available um, on the internet. I will have a link for this program in the description below. So what you want to do is simply open it up and you'll notice that in the top right corner here it has your system specs so what version of windows you're running and then your computer parts um also on the right hand side here you have different things that are selected and then if you go to applications um, these are all the things like cache um internet history if it's a internet program cookies sessions all that kind of stuff um so what you want to do is uncheck anything you don't want checked but pretty much i would leave most of it all checked and what you can do is you can analyze. Now what analyze will do is basically scan it and give you a estimate on how much it can actually remove and clear it from your system. Now this program was featured in my video of seven tips to free hard drive space. I'll have that link to that video in the description as well if you're interested in um, looking at that. Now you're gonna notice that it says Google Chrome needs to be cl closed to clean your cache. I'm going to click no because I don't. I need to keep my Chrome open for now. So as you can see here, I have over 5,000 megabytes that I can actually remove and clean up. So what I'll do is I'll just hit the Run Cleaner button here, and it will simply delete all those files from my computer. And there you go. So I should have now cleaned up the hard drive space there, and it'll finish up. And there you go. I removed. 5,250 megabytes, which is, anyone doing the math, over 5 gigabytes. For the next task, we're using Task Scheduler. So to, what you want to do now is simply go ahead and open up Task Scheduler. It's a free program actually built into your computer. And what you want to do is open it up and then click Create Basic Task. Now go ahead and name it Disk Cleanup. You can name it whatever you want, but this is probably the easiest one. And Disk Cleanup is a program that's built into Windows as well that simply just cleans up the disk. So how do you want it to go? I would suggest weekly. Now you can choose um, the exact days. So I'm going to choose a day that I know my computer is always on, which is going to be a Sunday. And I'll have it go at about 3. So and make sure you synchronize that. And then I'll choose a Sunday as well. Now what I'm going to do is start a program. And we're going to go program script. What you want to do is head over to the computer here. And you're going to open up the drive with the Windows symbol, which is probably going to be your C drive. Then go to the Windows folder. And scroll down to the System32 folder. Then head over to the, the C section. And you want to look for the program called cleanmgr.exe. 
then simply press next and there you go you're all good to go now press finish and you're all good to go so what happened is the program will open up every Sunday and just kind of remind you to do this cleanup which takes about one minute the next step is making sure you have no malware spyware or adware these are like viruses or bugs or not bugs viruses or you know cookie worms or email worms or trojans anything like that can actually slow down your computer um, a couple different reasons sometimes they're actually made simply just to slow down your computer to annoy you or because they're doing stuff like collecting information which if you have a slow computer can just add on to how much it has to do because that's actually processing information for the virus install a simple antivirus and run some scans every once in a while to ensure you're secure the next thing we'll look at is Windows features. So head over to the window. You can type in actually features in your start menu. And you'll see turn Windows features on or off. Click on that. Now here we have some different features. So you can enable and disable these. Some of these ones are pretty important and some aren't. So for example, things like, um, I believe the Telnet server. If you don't connect to other computers remotely, you don't really need this, as well as the Telnet client. So you can disable those. Some people need stuff, certain stuff, and some people don't. So if you're not sure if you need it or not, definitely take a Google search to what it is. For example, Internet Explorer 11, you don't need this. So simply disable it, click yes, and okay. And there you go, it will actually disable that program. Next thing we'll look at is disabling the index service in Windows. So when you normally search a program out, it has to index it for the quicker searching or if it doesn't index it, it'll take a pretty long time. Now, if you never search through it to Windows, what I mean by that is if you actually open up your file explorer here and, and use the search. If you never use the search, then this is a great thing you can disable, which should increase your speed. So what you want to do is type in services into your start menu here. And we're going to open this up. Now we're going to look for a service called Windows Search right there. What you want to do is right click Windows Search and press the Properties button. And we have a couple different options here. I have it set up to Automatic Delayed Start, which means it won't actually run as soon as the com computer is turned on. It waits probably 5-10 minutes and then boots up. This is a great option for anyone who wants a quick boot up but then also still wants this feature. You have different options though. You can go Automatic, which means it will automatically go right away. Manually, you have to manually activate it but if you want that quick computer, you can simply disable it. Disable it will basically not run it anymore, and that should help with the speed of your computer. The last thing I'm going to show you guys is simply having or using portable apps. Portable apps is a great way to not install many programs, but still have programs you need. When you install a program, it can auto run itself, it's running the background, etc. If you download a portable version, then that will simply not allow it to run in the background as much and overall have a quicker computer. If you're interested in portable apps, there's a great website called portableapps.com. It has basically a plethora of different portable apps you can get. So everything's from like Skype to Word documents to Chrome. Definitely check these out if you're interested in portable apps. Also, they're great for taking in your flash drive. One last one before I go, guys, I forgot to mention, is make sure your computer is up to date. Microsoft often leaks updates, um, improving stability and bugs, etc. So make sure your computer is up to date. So let me type in updates on your computer and head over to the Windows Update uh, menu there. And what you want to do is go to the Change Settings. And my suggestion is keeping it at install updates automatically so you don't have to deal with it it will just installs updates automatically thanks for watching guys hope you guys did enjoy these are just some tips that i use to keep my computer running fast obviously there's many more but i think these are some of the good ones and especially the ones that are free thanks for watching guys hope you did enjoy if you did leave a like if you didn't dislike the video if you need to uh, leave a comment then leave one below Otherwise, you can also interact with me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. So you can follow me there in the description below. Thanks for watching, guys. 
and I'll see you in my next video. This is the Hacker 007, and I'm signing off.